Oh, let me move this, ruining the illusion. Hey guys, I'm Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. And as you can see from the title, it's a study with me. Now, I absolutely love watching these videos, you know, whether it's just for a bit of motivation or whether it's just to stick someone on in the background for like moral support whilst I'm studying. I just really, really love them and I watch them like all the time. So. I thought I'd have a crack at making my own. So I hope this video uh, allows you to be a bit productive today and I really hope it allows me to be productive today. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack right on. So the first thing I always do before studying is make a to-do list. So I go through my big to-do list, which is ordered by day and just pick off the things I'm going to be doing in that session. And then I had a coffee because it is the sweet nectar of life and I literally cannot cope or do studying without it. So as you can see from my list earlier, the first thing on it was emails. So I always like to start with my emails because they're time sensitive. So once I get them out of the way, then I can just study for as long as possible afterwards. Okay, so currently I'm making a transcript for a bail application that I did back in like October. So this is going way back. Prosecution submits to you, judge, that the defendant Nicholas Harper should not be granted bail for the following reasons on which I shall later expand. So firstly, a chance of committing an offence whilst on bail, and there's been previous breaches of bail conditions, which is in line with Schedule 1, Paragraph 6 of the Bail Act 1976, and thirdly, that the victim has expressed that he wishes Mr Harper to not receive bail. During Mr Harper's first bail application, um, his previous history of offending was not known to the court. However, now as it is, his history of offending includes violence against the person. Wow, and now I get to like listen to my own drivel as I type it up. Marvellous. I'm going to have a great time. <laughs> So the reason I was writing transcripts is because I have to write a big portfolio for one of my modules, legal skills. So that portfolio is all about what I've done this year, how I would improve, what went well, linking it to theories, etc. And I have to evidence my portfolio. So a great way for me to do this is to make a transcript and say, this is exactly what I said. This is why it went well. This is why it didn't go well. And then I can write like a new transcript and say, oh, this is what I'll do next time. So that's what I was doing here. However, they take forever and it took me I think like two or three hours per one so yeah that was joyous. So then I moved on to PBL. Now I get my new PBL problems on a Monday and a Tuesday and then I have interim on a Thursday. So interim basically is a session where they ask you how you're finding it, they sort of help you with research and essentially like lead you to the answers. So I like to type up my PBL notes before that session. So then I don't have to worry about typing up any of the notes or anything before I crack on with my research. So I always like to type them up before interim on a Thursday. So that's what I was doing here. See, I always love finishing off any study session with like a bit of reading because I always end up going to bed anyway after I do studying so I feel like if I end it on reading then I'm, I'm a bit more like into the sleep mode although I've probably been in the sleep mode like this entire time. Also, don't mind the tape, um, basically what I'm doing is I've had to split my board like into sections because like when I plan my assignments I like to put it all up on the walls. I mean, some of you would have seen that last year uh, in my exam video. So yeah, that's currently the situation of what my bedroom is going to look like. So yeah, that's why there's this tape up dividing it. So just overlook. So here I was reading a journal article that related to one of the modules that I was thinking about choosing in my third year. So I was pretty undecided about a couple of modules and I thought that if I read around each one, then I would have a better idea of what I would want to do in my third year. So, I think I'm going to call it a day. I've pretty much done everything off my to-do list, except read the last few pages of that journal article, but like, I'm gonna do that once I like, get ready for bed and stuff. So yeah, I feel like I've done a lot. Like, I feel like for once, I've, I've, I've achieved so much in this little study session. Because normally, I sit down to study, and then it's like, time just whizzes by, and I'm like, whoa, did I black out? Was I abducted? <laughs> 
just like, what happened? I just, I don't feel like I get much done, but I just feel like time, time's passing, you know? Whereas today, I feel like I've done so much. Like, I've been studying for what? Four or five hours this evening? So, yeah. I feel really chuffed. I feel like I'm in a good place. Um, yeah, because I'm basically trying to prep for the hell that is to come. Because basically, when this video comes out, it will be officially like exam season, I guess, and essay season and the fun season. Yeah, so um, I'm just trying to get ahead a little bit um, and plan essays and do all the reading and stuff like that now so that when I have to write an essay a week and prep for my exams and all that, um, I won't want to curl up and cry. So yeah, I'm just trying to get ahead and I'm really not looking forward to it being like one after another. Cue the Trump meme. One after another. Donate me, okay? That was needed. Basically, I'm just prepping for that. So yeah. But thank you for joining me on this little study with me. I feel like, as I said, I've done so much. I feel like you guys keep me accountable. Maybe we need to do more of these. I will see you in the next video. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Desperately trying to get a thumbnail. Oh, YouTuber life.